Hi everybody, this is Stephanie. I wanted to jump in and share an update regarding the projects that I had on my desk for the month of May, what I got completed, and what I have in store for June. So I think I had like roughly 10 to 12 layouts in mind for June, I, I mean for May, and I did not get that many done, but I am happy with what I did get done. So. I'm going to share that really quick and then I'm going to move on to June. I'm so excited. I know I have way too many projects on my desk for June, but again, I love to shoot for the moon and if I don't succeed, I will still land on the stars, right? So let me go ahead and share what I have so far. So the first layout that I got completed was this awesome... So sorry if you can see the wires I have over here. It is a temporary setup. And this is uh, documenting my son's birthday. We went to the aquarium and I had a lot of embellishments. It is on the flatter siding um, with the die cuts and the stickers. That is all I had. I had only the collection. It is a uh, Sea Life by Echo Park. And um, yeah, I love the way this turned out. This is kind of like a two page since this was also at the aquarium, but it was something that I wanted to document that we enjoyed going in and feeding the birds. It was, they were all over us and it was so crazy and I just really loved the way this turned out. So this layout is using the um, Echo Park what is it? The same collection, I think, except for this sheet. And also, I used some of the die cuts from Simple Stories along with this one. So this is why there's a bit more dimension. And um, it's very simplistic, but I actually love the way this one turned out. This is using another Echo Park collection and it is the at the zoo I believe oh I was wrong actually it's animal kingdom that's the one that I use I did use quite a bit of these stickers and I just this is just the day that we went to the zoo my with I went with my friends along with my son and we fed the giraffes I really love the way this turned out. I just like the grid format. I just need to do the journaling and also placing the date. It's another nice, quick, and easy layout. Okay, so I used the Animal Kingdom and the Simple Stories collection, and this is actually a double page layout. This is actually the first layout that I've completed as a double page. I normally don't do double page layouts however I had so much fun creating this and I can see myself doing more now um, the black cardstock here are for the photos this is going to be for my sister she takes her toddler out to the zoo throughout the month of, uh, throughout the summer so I thought she can pick out her favorite photos to document that memory or those memories I did get inspired by the simple stories um, life pages die cuts so they are on the bigger side and I just kind of um, like I said went with it um, got inspired but then added in some of the uh, collections stickers from both uh, Animal Kingdom and the Simple Storyline I'm so sorry I can't remember the name that's what it was Into the Wild so I used quite a bit of this uh, just the life this one right here, I used most of the die cuts from this one. And this was the idea they gave you. And I kind of just wanted to use the clusters that they showed. And then I did my own version um, within this. These are cut aparts from the Animal Kingdom from Echo Park. And I went ahead and I blend them together. For my first double page layout, I really loved the way this turned out. The last 12 by 12 layout I completed was this Valentine's Day one. I do have a um, imperfection on the photo and I'm, I think I am going to reprint this, but I reprinted it twice and it just kept messing up. I don't know what was on the photo or if it's my printer. I hope it's not my photo printer, my Canon selfie, but it just kept messing up in that spot. But um, uh, this is going into my stash using a old crepe paper 
paper pad and this is my favorite pattern paper from that pad so I'm using it as the majority of here on this layout I love the way it turned out and it's very simplistic since I don't have any die cuts um, or stickers from this paper pad but I went ahead and used the cut aparts and then this is from a different collection and brand but it matched perfectly so I thought I would do some stamping I think with the Wan Fun stamp playground set um, but I totally went the other way and overall I still love the way this turned out Again, and I feel like it's still kind of simplistic. I love the way the background turned out and all the layers that it has. But there goes the last layout I did. And then I did get to print out my cover page for this year for Project Life of Photos of Us. And then I placed three of the uh, collection, three by four cards from the collection that I'm currently working with, which is this one right here. Day in the Life from Echo Park, and I may also use another collection. Where is it at? This collection, uh, Simple Stories, Best Year Ever, to document them as well. So I have this collection um, that I can also use, and it is also the same kind of theme. So if when I flip this over, and for the next few spreads, in January, I will pull out the January um, cards. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just use both and have fun with that. Alrighty. That completes my projects for May. And let's move on to June. For the month of June, I want to complete my son's album. So I have a flip book, a 6x8 Navy flip book for him. And um, I thought I had black for him. Just kidding. I have black. And here are some of the multi packs. This is how it's going to look. I don't know if I'm able to fit the entire DC chart for him in this album. So if it doesn't fit, then I'll just get him a 6x8 album. We'll go from there. But the collection that I'm going to be working with is this here and there collection. I personally love this collection. I saw so many uh, YouTubers and design mem team members using this collection and I was sold. Um, so I'm happy to use it. However, he did like um, another older paper pad that I had. In my stash, this is a uh, Echo Park, and I forgot the name. I don't have the actual paper pad anymore, just because I got rid of the pattern papers that I knew I wouldn't use. But um, so he loved the way this one looks. So I'm gonna incorporate both of them somehow together. So that's one project that I'm gonna be doing. The next project that I'm gonna be doing is in this bin, and it's all my Disney. And I have another bin exactly like this for Universal. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making two 4x6 albums for my boys for our Disney slash Universal trip that we took, I think, two years ago already. And um, basically, I just made this out of cardstock and made some signatures. I believe there's seven of them. And this is going to be their album to be, have to... Uh, be able to flip through to remember those memories so I have one started and I do have some of the pages here prepped and ready to go and a ton of the cardstock papers ready and prepped so I'm gonna do two of those for the boys and then I also have my six by six six by eight album that I have right here to also have for me to document that trip so I have some of the photos set up in here I think all the photos I have or at least all the big photos so I just need to, um, this is the pocket, yeah, I have a pocket, so I gotta make the tabs, this one flaps open, so I do have it prepped, I just need to do the decorating. I don't think I have all the smaller photos printed out, so, and then in for my boys, I have the photos in files in my phone, but I don't have those printed out, so. I just have all of these prepped, almost prepped, 
and then I just need to do the decorating. But yeah, so this is our Universal Disney album that I need to check out. So um, I was going to share the products that I'm going to be working with, but there are just so many, so I kept them in their totes. So I do have Magical Memories. I got Magical Place Ephemera. This is from Ellie Studio. Ellie Studio. More Ellie Studio. I have. Come in, Boogaboo. So this is all the stuff that I've gathered, not including like stamps and what have you. There we go. And then this is the other bin that I have. And this is for Harry Potter. So I have the Witches in Wizards. What else? There we go. Okay, so that goes for the collections. Now I'm going to move into my cart. In my cart, I also have five albums. I have two December dailies that I'm behind on that I would love to get to, if not in June, then Christmas in July. I at least want to get one of those albums done. And then on the top portion for fun, I want to see if I can get my 2022 album for October daily done. Sorry, it's my October 2023. So I also want to get done, so before I do that, the collection that I'm gonna be working with for October daily is gonna be the Monster Mash, Halloween from Cartabella, and from Simple Stories. I have picked out all three because I didn't know which one I want to use. And I also have the cardstock for the two. The Halloween and the Monster Mash. So that's what I'm going to be working with for my October daily. That's going to be something that I'm doing on the side. And the reason why I have so many collections slash um, projects that are going to be here on my desk or in my cart is because everything else is getting packed up. And I'm thinking that I'm going to have these projects for the next two to three months. And at the end of the month for June, there is a retreat a crop and I would love to go I have until the 14th to decide but I've never been so I'm a little hesitant kind of nervous so I thought maybe I can pack either this or my December daily projects that I'm behind on and get as much as I can done so I have my DC album for my son I have our Disney Universal 6x8 album to do and then I also have um Halloween, my October daily from last year, and then I have my December daily for the last two years. And then I thought if I have any other time at all, I can do my son's baseball, the year he was in baseball, a layout that I haven't finished. I could also do a couple school layouts for each of them in their albums. And I can use the back to school from Lori Whitlock by Echo Park. This is another collection from Michael Park and it's called I Love School. It doesn't have the cover page. Um, and then also for Michael Park, first day of school. And I do have a sketch in mind that I thought would look perfect and I could just mass produce them without even adding any photos and just have that done. So that's what I have so far. And I know it's quite a lot from my stash, but if you look at it this way, I am packing everything else. I think this will keep me busy for the next two to three months. I'm hoping we are moved by then, so that way if I have any other projects that I want to do, um, I won't have to worry about things being in boxes still. But I thought this would be the perfect um, amount, and it gives me a lot of um, 
projects that I can switch up so that way I'm not bored with just one. I have some Sculpey themed ones. I have some Halloween themed ones. Um, for the Christmas collections, I'm going to be using... Oh, and in case I want to do a fall themed, I did pull this out. This is actually the oldest um, collection probably that I have in my stash. And I thought I can do a few layouts for my son. Um, he's born in November, so he's definitely a fall baby. And I guarantee you I can find a few layouts from him in that type of um, scene along with my newest pregnancy who's also going to be born in november so if i wanted to create a few create some layouts i think i can use the, this collection so there we go um i was still looking for the christmas ones and i don't know what i did with them okay so for the christmas collections i have um the mix and mingle and then i also have the make it merry that i'm going to be using to um document and I do have more items from these collections. I do have like the foam stickers, the die cuts and things like that. Another collection that I've been digging into, I had one more photo that I had tried to fit in to um, complete but I'm just not 100% sold is this photo of my husband. It was our last date night from 2023. It was in December. I initially thought I would use these two collections that I have underneath, but then I totally pivot and go with this collection, which is newer in my stash that I got um, on that sale on Black Friday. It is Simple Story of the Holiday Life. I love the colors. I love everything regarding this collection and the fact that I'm digging into it screamed like it was new and I was actually, I'm very hesitant to paste anything down. So I wanted to have this plaid kind of as the um, outer edge and this is different from what I anticipated originally using the two other collections, the Make It Merry or this one. So I, that's why nothing's kind of paced down um, or adhered. I'm just, I don't know. I'm So this is on the fence. So this is why I didn't get to show this layout with you guys. Um, I still do have a box from my May uh, projects that I have like about five photos that I still need to document. So if this is all going a lot going on, yeah, I really love this collection for Christmas. So, um, yeah, I have quite a bit on my desk. It's going to be filling up my RAS cart. My RAS card. My RAS card. Card. Oh, my God. The teal cart that I have. The three-tier cart. Um, I'm going to be placing all this good stuff in there. And I'm going to be getting started. I do have one summer project. Um, I've had these printed for some time. We went to the beach like two years ago. And we went and saw the Lexington ship. Uh, I forgot what it was. Um, we went to go visit some family members, I think. So it was just a nice little quick trip. And the boys loved the beach and they loved it. It was hot. Look at my little toddler. He is so tiny right there. So this is one of the summer um, ones that I want to document. Um, if I wanted to get into summer, I am not a summer person. So um, I, that the collection that I end up choosing really has to... Um, yeah, excite me. All right, you guys, I was all over the place, but I'm excited to dig into all these and go from there.